some people can work from home. Some people are independently motivated. I mean, I've uh, only been, I was in an office for 10 years um, when I had a big partner and had to do a suit and everything. Fridays and wore my cheap trick t-shirts, but um, the, uh, I like the office sometimes and sometimes I like the independence of it. How do you envision you're going to be going? Are you tr- going to be traveling a lot? Is, uh, have you discussed when the pandemic's over? You know, kind of yeah. where, where, where do you see your job? Yeah, we, um, well, to, to your point earlier, it, it's been an interesting, like, conversation at our dinner table. Because yeah. as we were watching, you know, kind of this very challenging, difficult situation in college sports and, like, trying to keep our athletes motivated and the loss of the outdoor season, now the loss of the cross-country season, potentially the loss of the indoor track season. I mean, it's just been, like, bombarded yeah. neg- negative news and then it's like I come home and we talk about the like it's it's like it's two totally separate worlds like the sport is having these challenges over here but running is on fire yeah. um it, it it feels like so um contrarian like you said but um Chris Chris is uh he's an easy name to remember Chris Farley yeah and um yeah, I, I really haven't struggled working from home. Um, I, I think maybe I even found I'm more of an introvert than I realized in that way. Um, I actually used to always find that my best hours of work were at home, even when I was at the office. So sure. um, there were times, like when I went to the office, because I'm, I, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to figure myself out. When I'm at the office, I'm like just excited. And I'm around being around people. and I just want to talk to people and chat. Yeah. And that can't get anything done. Yes. So I was always like having to like close my door, which felt very like, don't talk to me at the office. So I just found it better to like work from home and then come in and, and, you know, be on and excited for everybody and um, try to bring good energy or, you know, just if we had, you know, challenging conversations or serious conversations, like be, be ready to roll for that. So I've never had a tough time working from home and, um, you know, I just kind of set up my space and I felt like the, the time period from uh, March to, you know, June was like some of the most productive working time I'd ever had, um, mm-hmm. just fairly uninterrupted. So, um, but with, with my arrangement with Brooks, um, you know, the, the plan is for me to be out there at least once a month. Um, that this would be my home base. And um, I don't think that that would have been an acceptable option prior to COVID. Um, I think yeah. this kind of changed everybody's idea of like, oh, this can be done. Um, and, and there will definitely be challenges with that, right? The things that I'm, you know, I may miss out on are like, you know, the Friday runs or, you know, the, the hallway conversation or, or just getting to know people. I'll, I'll have to do that in a much more consolidated time period. So maybe it'll, this will be like, I work really hard from here and I go out there and I'm like, you know, getting to know people and, and having a lot more of those like conversations and, and meetings and things. But um, I'm anxious to get that piece started. And um, Chris, Chris has a lot of flexibility with his job. Although, you know, we still have our two young boys, but they're just preschool age. And, um, you know, we've talked about going out there for a couple of weeks at a time, um, really just in, you know, diving deep and, and getting to know people. And, um, really, I think that's an evolving thing and, and, but I'm excited about it. I think, um, we have the ability to kind of, um, be flexible. So at this moment, everybody's working from home, but, um, hopefully that'll, That'll change in at least 2021.